Hello, Tech Ed students. Today we are discussing bubble diagrams. Bubble diagrams help you set up a floor plan for a house, and we will show you how and why. So, when you are planning a house, you start out with what I believe is called a program, and this is basically a list of all of the rooms that you are requiring in your house. Um, I have limited myself to just the first floor of my house just to get us started. So I've said that you need a kitchen, a dining room, a sunroom, um, two offices, a playroom, a garage, living room, uh, and laundry room, and a half bath on the first floor. Um, if you are really doing a program you would also talk about uh, what room you need views from like do you want a view from the kitchen um, and then there's also uh, an acoustical barrier so if you want to not be able to hear things so like your half bath you would want that to be acoustically isolated Acoustic, uh, I don't know how to start but anyway you want it to be acoustically isolated so um, I don't know if we're going to go that far, but the point of a bubble diagram is to help you see the flow from room to room and be able to rearrange things without completely redrawing your floor plan. So we start out with OG bubbles. Um, we have bubbles for each of our rooms. We've got the playroom, we've got the dining room, office one, we got our half bath. We have our laundry room, office two, sunroom, um, living room, which is of course a little bit bigger, garage, and the kitchen. So I will start by setting this up the way our house generally is. Um, we live in a modified colonial. So some of you may recognize the setup. Let's see, we've got the kitchen over here, playroom is right there, uh, garage is right here. Our half bath is in the hall right there. The dining room is right here. Our sunroom is added onto the back. The two offices are added on where the sunroom is. Our laundry room is there. And our living room is there. So this also will help you um, figure out the flow from place to place. So like you want to definitely be able to get from your kitchen to your dining room. So you can have a lovely little arrow go from the place to the place. Um, you want to be able to go from the kitchen to the playroom. You want to be able to go from the kitchen to the laundry room. Or, well, you can go from the kitchen to the laundry room. Um, the way that our house works, you go from the dining room to the sunroom. Um, you can go from the hallway to the living room. The half bath is actually only accept accessible from the hallway. Um, in a perfect world, you'd have that accessible from other areas, but a half bath is awfully tiny. Um, and then from the living room, you can get to office one and office two. So this is in general the flow of our house. Actually, I would need, an, you know what? We're going to say from our living room, you get to both office one and office two, because they are very similar, close together. And from the dining room, you can also get to the living room. So this is the flow of our house. This is in general how um, a bubble diagram would work. You would then put a large piece of paper over the top, and usually you'd use tracing paper. But you would use a piece of paper, maybe put it up on the window so that you could see through in order to create your floor plan from this. Uh, this also allows you to rearrange things. Like if you were saying, gosh, you know, um, I really think the way our house should work is um, I think that the bathroom should actually be accessible from all of these areas. So we have our bathroom over here, um, our offices, you know what, we're going to actually put those on the other side of the laundry room so that they are um, much more isolated because if you have them next to the living room and people are playing around in the living room, things will get noisy. Um, and your sunroom, um, our sunroom is currently in our backyard, which does not receive the most sun. So probably you would want to put your, your sunroom out in the front where there would be a heck of a lot more sun. 
Uh, and then our playroom, we will put in the back where there's easy access to the backyard. And then you would figure out where you want your flow to be. So this would be another option for a floor plan for your house. So I had asked you to give a first shot at doing a bubble diagram for the floor plan of your house. Um, now I would like you to actually cut out those circles, put it in the current uh, configuration of your floor plan. And then I would like you to reimagine that floor of your house. How could things be differently and tell me why you made those choices. 